Hello and welcome back. I'm Sarah Aspinall and today I'm talking about the truth about weight loss in your 40s. I don't often talk about weight loss because my programs, that's not the focus. Um, but I realize that it's very, very frustrating for many busy women who are in their 40s and beyond when you know, you feel like you're doing all the right things, you're eating clean, you're exercising regularly, and still you can't shift those stubborn pounds. But is it as straightforward as calories in and calories out? Once upon a time, it may have been. In your 20s, if you started to gain weight, sometimes it was a, a simple process of, you know, tidying up your eating, not eating too many takeaways, and eating more wholesome foods, and increasing your exercise and then your weight would kind of sort itself out. It's not that straightforward when you hit your 40s for a number of reasons, because we're starting to age, our hormones are changing, and so there are other factors that we need to look at alongside consistent exercise and healthy eating. And the first one of those is sleep. Lack of sleep can contribute towards weight gain. There's research that shows that a lack of sleep can actually increase your body mass index, your BMI, and that leads to weight gain. So we need to be aiming for at least eight hours sleep a night to avoid that from happening. So sleep is really crucial if you want to try and get rid of some of those extra pounds. The second one is eating at the right time. So it's not just about eating the right thing, it's also about eating at the right time. Our bodies need a period of fasting and the most natural way to find that, that period is overnight. But we need to make sure that that fasting period is long enough. So we want to try and eat within a 10 hour window. So for example, if you were having your breakfast at 8 a.m. in the morning, then you would try and have your last meal, your dinner in the evening, at around 6 p.m. Your body has then got from 6 p.m. until 8 a.m. the following morning to go through that fasting process and to do everything that it needs to do during that time. So it's really important that we are not eating late into the evening. And I know this happens when we get super busy. You know, our eating habits get later and later. Some of us are getting up and skipping breakfast, so it can feel a little bit erratic sometimes. But if you can try and fit it into a 10 hour window, however that looks for you, then that's really, really going to help. The third one is stress. And you know, a degree of stress is normal, it's a natural process. But if we are going through periods of time where our stress levels are high, which lifts our cortisol, the stress hormone, and we never have a kind of downtime where we're relaxing and not feeling stressed, then the cortisol remains in our system for days and sometimes longer than that. So if we've got prolonged periods of stress with prolonged increase in the cortisol hormone, then that's going to cause inflammation in the body. And this is when our body goes into the kind of fight or flight um, uh, stage and retains weight, particularly around the midsection. So if you feel like you've gained weight in the midsection or you're retaining weight around there, then you do really need to think about your stress levels and what you can do to address those, become more resilient to particular situations, to try and reduce those levels or at least not have it you know, at a high level all the time. When we are in that state, we're retaining weight, but we're also, it increases your cravings as well, which obviously, you know, if you're, you t we tend to crave food that's not necessarily fueling our body. It's, um, it's not the best type of food, so it might be high in sugar, high in salt, and that is also obviously going to increase your weight. So you need to try and have a little think about what you can do to address the stress levels. So, it's not as simple as calories in, calories out, I'm afraid, when we hit this particular age. Um, and it, it is frustrating. And as I say, I don't um, advocate 
focus on, focusing on weight loss, I would rather focus on the health aspects of our, of our fitness and our well-being. But that would still mean you need to think about getting eight hours sleep a night, making sure you're eating the right thing, but at the right time or within the right time period, and becoming more resilient or reducing your stress levels. So focus on doing it for your health and not necessarily your weight loss. So the two takeaways from this are to keep it simple. There's no point trying to do all the things. You're going to get too overwhelmed. So I would go away and focus on two things. I would focus, first of all, on getting eight hours sleep. Um, have a think about your bedtime routine. And, you know, it, it doesn't always go to plan, of course, you, especially if you've got young children that are waking you in the night. But if you can set yourself up, up for the best possible night's sleep, and actually, when you... Um, make sure that you're eating within that 10 hour window. If your last meal is at 6 p.m., that's really great because it's not a good idea to be eating too close to your bedtime anyway. So making sure you're getting a really good night's sleep, eight hours, good quality sleep, and then also thinking about trying to fit your eating time between in, into a 10 hour slot. So say between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. because there are there are strong connections with the with lack of sleep and eating at erratic times with weight gain so you can focus on those two areas to begin with keep it simple try and be good 80 percent of the time but life is for living and for enjoyment so 20 percent of the time you can make an exception um, but following those two principles will really really help you to see a difference um, and track how you're feeling you know alongside exercising regularly and eating the right thing it's important to address the sleep and the the eating times as well so try and incorporate those see how you feel and keep um, a record of the changes that you are experiencing <laughs>